Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here. Today, I thought I'd showcase a little indie survival horror title called Alyssa. Alyssa is a game that you can buy on Steam. I believe it's supposed to come to consoles at some point, but I haven't heard anything else further than that. If you're into old school survival horror games like the original Resident Evil, Silent Hill, or Dino Crisis, then this might be your cup of tea. This game came out quite a while ago now, and I thought I'd make a video on it since I'm not sure how known this game is. As someone who really didn't grow up with original PS1 survival horror styled games, I really enjoy them, and I've grown to like them. It's pretty cool I guess a very small group of individuals made an old game of this style. The game's not perfect though, as the story of this game is almost non-existent or very vague. There is an area in the game where I got completely stuck and I had to look up the answer, since it really wasn't clear at all in my opinion. There's also one puzzle I got stuck on due to the area I was in not giving me enough time to figure it out. There's a good variety of environments throughout this game, that is, if the pixelated art doesn't bother you. What's different about this game is that this takes a page off of Resident Evil 4 and has an item shop and a merchant of its own. Hey you! Oh boy. No! Don't shoot! I can help you! Who are you? What is this place? My name is Hope, and this is a dollhouse. The dollhouse? No, really? What's going on here? And why am I well in distress? Yes. Well, don't help you with that. But if you can bring me some tooth wheels, like this one, I might be able to exchange them for some extra firepower. Hey, hey, don't fool me, Puppet. Tooth wheels or nothing. Hey, hey, don't fool me, Puppet. Welcome! Here, you can buy your typical ammo, outfits, and medkits. As you progress further in the game, more weapons and outfits will be added. One thing I gotta mention about Alyssa's outfits is that they have very different stats uh, depending on what you wear, so they're not just cosmetic. Oh, I can just store my shit in here? Oh. Okay. Oh, oh okay, and this is, I guess, for different dresses. Uh, hold up. No shit. Well, I could go without a dress if I wanted to. In order to get more tooth wheels, which is the game's in-game currency, you get them by simply killing shit. The tougher enemies you kill, the more tooth wheels you get out of them. Another unique mechanic about this game is that there's actually a primary and secondary system. Typically you'd have to go to the menu and switch weapons that way, but in this game it's cool that you can switch weapons just with the press of a button. Oh. I think squares to parry with the sword or block. Now even though there's already playthroughs of this game, I'm just showing the beginning areas because if any of you decide to try this game, I want you guys to experience this for yourself. The enemies in this game are definitely very different and weird than what I or any of us are used to. The game starts off with basic dolls that act as your typical zombies, then there's fast moving crawler types, and beyond that it's, uh, that's when it starts to get weird. Hi. Okay. It's an old oven. Okay. Uh. So there's not much in this room but the little closet to the left, so I guess I gotta sneak past this guy. Oh no! I guess my only other criticism I have with this game is that there really is no New Game Plus mode. Well, th there kind of is, but what I'm trying to say is that there is no reward for beating the game from what I remember, and there is no difficulty selector. No other modes either, just a single campaign. So after beating the game from what I remember, there really isn't much replay value other than to experiment with different outfits and weapons. Overall, if you can buy Alyssa for, I'd say, $10, I would pick it up. 
That's really all I gotta say about Alyssa, and I enjoyed my time with the game. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and share this to anyone who'd be interested. If you want to stick around the channel, consider subscribing. You can also find me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All links will be down in the description. And before I sign off this video, I want to say thank you to you guys, my subscribers, who are still sticking around while I try to figure out content that's not Halo. I've already expressed this on Twitter, which is the best place to stay in touch with me as I post updates on what's going on with me a little bit and updates on upcoming videos or delays. Anyways, to make this quick, I'm sorry for the lack of Halo videos. I just haven't been in the Halo mood lately and I haven't b played Halo, Halo Infinite in like weeks, almost a month now. I'm even too lazy just to get on Infinite to record footage. Could make MCC videos, that's always a possibility, but that's not where my headspace is at right now. I know probably most of you subscribe for the Halo content, and I'm sorry that I'm not providing that right now. Trust me, I'd rather be making Halo videos, let alone playing Halo right now. If you're still here, thank you for listening to my little ramble. Thanks again to my subscribers who are still around. That, makes, that really means a lot to me, and I hope I make Halo content again soon. And until next time, peace. Oh wait.